Us Brits love our beer, but when it comes to the amber nectar... So, ale drinkers or lager drinkers? Definitely ale. I'm drinking an ale. There are two distinct camps. So you are a lager drinker? I am. A lager. Lager? Lager. What about the real ale? No, thank you. Now, I'm an ale man, but do any of the beer buffs in the Eleanor Arms know the difference between ale and lager? Yeah, I don't know. I don't really know the answer to that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to drink it. That's a no, then. So I've come round the corner to an East London brewery to see if they can tell me the difference. Hi there, I'm Jim. Hey, Jimmy, I'm Callum. Nice to meet you. As head brewer, Callum Bennett oversees production of 700,000 litres of lager and ale a year, which must be thirsty work. So what have we got here, then? So we've got two jars showing the difference between ale and lager fermentation. So this one here is ale. Yeah. And this one here is your lager. Yep. Look at that. The basic ingredients of ale and lager are the same. Hops, malted barley, water and yeast. Smell really, really beery, but they look very different, don't they? I mean, this one's got loads and loads of bubbles, but this one's hard to get anything on. What's going on? Well, that's the difference between the two yeasts, because it's the same ingredients other than the yeast. But the reactions are very different. Yeah. You can see the yeast here, how it looks. Yeasts are living, single-celled fungi that grow naturally all around us. Ale yeast and lager yeast are different strains, but closely related. And for over 500 years, the exact origins of the lager yeast have remained a mystery. It's about what you want to make, really, is which one you'd use, because they have different characteristics and different properties. To find out more, I'm heading to Utrecht in the Netherlands. I'm really excited because usually Matt gets to do all the beer stories, but finally I get to do one. So cheers, Matt. I've come to Vesterdijk Fungal Biodiversity Institute. Try saying that after a few pints. Hi there, I'm Jim. Oh, hi, I'm Marazeth. Nice to meet you. Yes, come inside. Dr. Marazeth Grenevold is a scientist at this research center which houses around 12,000 different strains of yeast. It's like the World Bank for microorganisms. So tell, tell me, what is this place here? This is the liquid nitrogen facility. Liquid nitrogen creates temperatures of minus 181 degrees Celsius, making this place properly cool. Wow. You haven't got chuck ice in there, have you? <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, what, what's in here, then? Uh, these are the yeasts. Oh, right. This one is actually the ale yeast. This is also a yeast that's uh, used in bread making, wine making. So this, this is a yeast that has been for ages used to make food. So what about the lager? The lager? Um, this is a hybrid. Oh, right. One of the parents is the ale yeast, and um, the other parent was until recently not known. The missing parent was only discovered in 2011. This is actually the unknown parent of the lager. I'm holding yeah, yeah. the mother of all lager. So where was this little yeast hiding then? It was on a tree in Patagonia. These orange-coloured ghouls from a beech tree forest were found to harbour the 500-year-old mother yeast. <laughs> That's incredible. That's got to be one of the great beer mysteries solved.